James Lynch here for Sports Kita MMA. Happy to be joined by bantamweight contender Song Yadong, who's going to be taking on Rob Font at UFC 292 in Boston. Song, uh, first off, how's it being here in Las Vegas and not having to fight? You get to enjoy uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, I feel relaxed. You know, no fight, no pressure. Have fun. Yes, yeah, it's great. I wanted to talk about your last fight against Ricky Simone. How, uh, how satisfying was that victory when a lot of people were counting you out? Yeah, I believe I can win the fight, you know. I, I'm good at everywhere, even grappling, you know. People worry about my grappling game on the ground. I'm going to lose the fight. I don't care. I grappling every day, you know, every single day. And um, after the fight, I was, I, was, I rewarded the, the, the radio every, every single day, you know. I, I'm very happy for the fight, for the event, and uh, for the for the for the fight. I, I'm very happy for my uh, performance at the night. Yeah. Were you surprised to get Rob as your next opponent, or were you expecting to fight him? Uh, I thought I was going to fight him, you know, because there is no one, uh, not many guys I can choose because he's um, everybody uh, has a schedule, yeah. and uh, yeah. It's good. It's good. He's a um, uh, he's boxer. I'm good at boxing, you know. Yeah. But I think my my boxing is good. But uh, my, it's better than him, you know. And uh, even grappling, okay. Let, uh, if he want grab, let's grab. Are you excited to uh, play the role of spoiler to have the crowd against you? I don't care because my energy is no good. I don't care. I don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That's good. Um, are you doing your entire training camp at Team Alpha Male, or will you train uh, any at any other gyms? Uh, mostly I train in uh, Team, Alpha, Team Alpha Male, but I have a boxing coach uh, uh, live in Sacramento too. He he has his uh, USA gym, Sacramento USA gym, and uh, I train with him uh, three times or two two times a week, and uh, but mostly in Team Alpha Male. Who are some of your main training partners at Team Alpha Male? Who do you mainly work with? You know, we have uh, so many uh, bantamweight fighters, featherweight fighters. I don't have, uh, uh, you know, uh, no, main... One, yeah. yeah. I'm, good. I'm good. I'm uh, good. Yeah, I train with, with everybody. Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that, that's great. Yeah, but, uh, sometimes my friends, uh, like Chinese fighters, they will come from uh, China and stay with me. I will, well, usually, I, I train with them. You have such a big fan base internationally. What does it mean to represent China and be one of, a, a successful fighter in the bantamweight division for the Chinese fans? Gave me power. Yeah. Made me strong. Yeah. Great. Um, who will be in your corner for this fight? Who's making the trip with you for the fight against Rob Font? Um, the make, uh, high coach, uh, Uriah Faber, and uh, Castillo, my wrestling coach, and uh, my boxing coach, uh, Marcus. Yeah, three you guys. What's your prediction? Rob's never been finished uh, in the UFC by knockout. Do you think you can knock Rob Fawn out? I knock three guys. They haven't been uh, knocked out before against with me. But, yeah, I, I believe I can knock him out. Yeah. With the win over Rob, especially a finish, how close do you think you are to a title shot? Two more fights. Two more big fights. I will be the Tammy challenge. And at the top of your division, Aljamain Sterling is fighting Sean O'Malley. Who do you see winning that fight? Uh, I believe uh, Aljo. I believe Aljo. He's uh, stronger and uh, funky. <laughs> yeah, for sure. um, and it looks like if Sterling wins, he will move up to 145. Do you think the winner of Corey Sanhagen and Umar will fight the winner of Marab and Henry? Like, do you think they'll fight for the vacant title? Uh, I think... Um, um, Curry, uh, Umar yeah. will be the next uh, challenge. Yes. And uh, and uh, what, what another guys? Oh, uh, I think Henry Cejudo will be fighting uh, Marab. Maybe, uh, maybe we don't know yet. Maybe yeah, though. I think I think you're right. Yeah, they will. Yeah, Who do you have in Corey Sanhagen and Umar? Who do you think wins that fight? Uh. Umar is strong, you know, he's a wrestler guy. I think uh, he's, uh, he can, uh, he will, I think he will take um, Curry down, you know. He can he has a body, but, you know, as the, as the fight uh, goes long, we don't know, you know. Curry has a good, um, good shape, good uh, cardio, you know. 
I didn't say uh, I didn't say Umar has a good cardio because I saw his last fight. He's he just finished uh, his uh, opponent, but after the first round, he already tired, looked tired, yeah. and uh, yeah, who knows if uh, if if uh, if Umar don't get uh, uh, finished, yeah. I think uh, Curry will win the fight. Who do you think will win? Do you think Curry? Who do you give the edge to in the fight? Uh, Curry. Okay, fair enough. And your English has improved so much. I remember you and I doing an interview a few years ago at one of your fights, and you needed a translator. How have you improved your English? Do you watch television or movies, or uh, is it just being around your teammates? Uh, how do you, how do you, I, I really wear, you know. Yeah, this is my uh, first time I don't have a um, translator stay with me, you know, so I, I already tried my best. <laughs> so right now I, I feel a little bit confused, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I study with my uh, friends and uh, my teammates, my coach, and uh, that's it, yeah. And just last one for me, what would it mean to fight in China? It sounds like the UFC is going to go to China soon. Um, what, what would it mean to fight on a card in China? Uh, yeah, I'm so excited for the fight, for the uh, Chinese return to back China. And uh, yeah, I definitely be that car, yeah. I, I, I want to fight that car so bad, and I can I can imagine that it's so many people that the the arena will bomb. Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your stay in Vegas. Thank you. Thank you so much.